Many of us enjoy a nice lake day with our pet, but what happens when that becomes fatal? As much as we love our furry little friends, they could be in danger from algae and lakes around Austin, which has proven to be deadly to some dogs. So how can we prevent this and save our pups? Luke Johnson has more. Luke? Thanks, guys. As many of you already know, Ladybird Lake's algae infestation was found early August and since then has taken the lives of dogs around Austin. If but we first realized there was an issue when a resident called and let us know that her dog had, had died uh, shortly after swimming in the lake and, and she had taken her dog to a, a vet um, when he got sick and the vet told her that he thought it was from the, the algae. Algae in lakes around Austin is not new at all. In fact, it's common for algae to be present in lakes, but what is it that's killing so many dogs in such a short amount of time? We have at this point heard of five dogs who have passed away after swimming in Ladybird Lake. What we have is a neurotoxin being produced by the algae and dogs are very susceptible to it, so um, they get sick very quickly. Um, so the ones we've heard about, um, they have died within hours of being in the lake. I have a Chewini. The algae situation has opened my eyes because um, I know that it can harm him. I didn't know about the dangers um, of the algae in the lakes. After hearing this, we have to ask ourselves, is there anything we can do to prevent a possible death in our family? or even prevent any harm to us? Our recommendation would be for people and pets to stay away from water that's warm and stagnant, and if you see a lot of algae, that's a sign that you might not want to be in it right now. Now don't be alarmed that this could end up affecting our drinking water. In fact, in a written interview with Cedar Park Senior Utility Operations Manager, Mr. Thomas Dawkins said, the presence of blue-green algae, or any species of algae in the source water, Lake Travis, is not a concern to drinking water safety because as part of the normal water treatment process, the raw lake water is filtered and disinfected prior to entering the drinking water distribution system. Out of all the city officials I spoke to, each one said that it was a bad idea in general to let your dogs drink from any natural body of water. With CPHS News, I'm Luke Johnson. Back to y'all. That's something to keep in mind next time you are at any body of water and not just lakes. Definitely. Ella, safety for our pets is very important, and we should always be aware of our dogs drinking water. We'll be hey right there, back. Evan Vines here. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy all things CPHS, hit subscribe. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours.